Mike Fires making his 19th turn of the season. And I know we've talked about it, folks, but ever since his outing against the Cincinnati Reds, in which he no hit them, it's really been a completely different Mike Fires. Here's uh, Mitch Garver. Big curve, strike three call. There's that Mike Fires overhand curve. Kyle Gibson for Kyle making his 16th start. His fifth career start against the Oakland A's. Two wins and two losses against him. Matt Olson, the batter, started the A's comeback last night with a two run home run. Change up got him. Nice inning for Gibson. Chris Davis leads off for the A's. Bottom of the second. The A's and the Twins, no score. Crone's got it. Crone fires. He throws it wide. So Chris Davis is going to be aboard on a bad throw by Crone. And that'll bring up Canna, who's batting 238. Pitch is a little bit low and just another good at bat for Mark Cannon. And the A's have two on to nobody out for Ramon Laureano. And that one is belted left center field, boxed it on the move, and that baby's gone. And Laureano gets the A's on the board with a three run home run. Three nothing A's in the second. An air, a walk, and a three run Jimmy Jack. I mean, that's that's a great combination to have. That's an Earl Weaver type play right there. We'll go to the top of the fourth inning now. <laughs> Second time through with Max Kepler standing in against Mike Fires. And Kepler swings at a pitch in the dirt. Throw the first, and that is the third strikeout. Well, Laureano will lead off for the Oakland Athletics. Under the glove of the guiding Adrianza and Ramon Laureano has a base hit. Look at that turn by the laser. He was halfway to second base. We love that guy. Forced to throw. And here's Robbie Grossman. Robbie walked his first time up. And Grossman rips one to right, and that's going to get down for a hit. Kepler on one hop gets it back in. Here's Fegley. He bounced into a double play, rolled one over to Sano at third base his first time up. Back to Gibson. Out at second. And a double play. Nicely started by the pitcher. For the books. And the storyline is a perfection for Mike Byers. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Reyes is retired, so four strikeouts for Mike Byers. Simeon leads off for the A's, bottom half of the fifth. Nice stop behind the bag. Sano comes up firing. And Crone comes up scooping. Porter infielders turn in a jam. One away. Sano grabbed it and then across the diamond. There's Chris Crone getting that short hop. Nice all around play, as you mentioned, by the corner infielders. Jonathan Scope leads it off for the Twins. Top of the six is 3 0 in favor of the A's. Drilled into center field. Got there in a hurry. Rado reached for it, but it was by him before he could get his arm fully extended. That'll bring up Kepler, who's grounded out and struck out. That's to center. And down for a hit. Kepler ends up with a hit, and there will be two aboard for Mitch Garver. Robbie Grossman special. And here we go with Mitch Garver. Driven to right, and it is down for a hit. Kepler hesitated momentarily. One run will score, and Garver delivers an RBI single, and it's 3-1. to one. That's good hitting right there by Mitch Garver. The ball away, and he just slapped it sharply into right field. And now Polanco has a chance. Swung on and looped to left center field. A long run for Lariano diving, and he makes the catch, and the runners have to get back. A sensational play in left center field by Lariano, and he took it right off the grass. And the runners got back to first and third, and that's out number two. And here's CJ Crone is off for two, and fires delivers, and he swung on a little bloop, and Chapman going back, leaping, and makes the catch in short left field. Well timed and as usual playing deep. Luis Arise stands in to start things for Minnesota. There you go. There's a solid stroke to right center field. And Arise will turn around first and hold up there, not challenging Laureano's arm. And here comes A. Ray Adrianza. Liner to center. Adrianza continues to sting the ball. Arise will hold up at second base. Tying run aboard now. Scope will hit. First and second and one down. Chopper to short. Scope's going to have to hurry. Out there. Relay to first is offline and into foul territory. A run will come in. Scope getting to second base eventually. And he's aboard on a throwing error. Could very easily have been a double play. Instead, the Twins get the run. It's 3 2. You know, I think the Twins are maybe checking on Barreto straddling second base. Is that possible? Whether or not the foot was on the bag when he received the ball. Well, let's see. So he is safe at second. Now they're going to place the runners, and it looks like they're placing them. Did they point at second and third? Yep. 
So two errors on Barreto for failing to get the runner at second, who's now at third, and then the overthrow allowing the runner to score. So the infield comes in, Buxton at the plate, and the pitch by Petit. They try the bunt, and it fails. Suicide squeeze. Adriano wow. is coming home, wow. and now they've got him in a rundown. A run as Petit back. chasing back to third base. They've got two runners at third base, and Adriano is going to be tagged out by Petit. Down by a run on the road in the seventh inning. Rocco Baldelli tries a squeeze play with runners at second and third and one out. And that's going to get the, the lead runner, Adrianza, out for the second out. So 0 and 2 the count. And he got him swinging. So how about that? Somehow, when it's all said and done, just one run scored. This is Polanco batting left handed. Polanco's 0 for 3. Drive right center field, headed to the gap. Get this up. Ball's hit well. And caught a home run for Polanco to tie the game. Polanco hitting his 12th of the year. Just over the wall in right center field. So one out, runners at the corners. The winning run 90 feet away for Mark Hanna. Dribbled to Sano. They'll come home. And he is out of the plate. Runner advances to second base. And a good play by Sano getting that ball before it hit the ground again. So consecutive walks. Garver will be the hitter. Base hit. Left field. Buxton around third. Being waved around. He will score. And the Twins take the lead. Another clutch hit by Mitch Garver. Chapman the time run and he's at third. Strike three. This team absolutely refuses to lose three games in a row. 